You've got it tuned to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. And you can find us online around the world at KEXP.org. Today we're streaming live video of one of our favorite bands at KEXP.org. The Helio Sequencer are here. Welcome. Thanks for having us. I should say welcome back. You've been here many, many, <laughs> many times. Many, many times in many places. Well, we can't thank you enough for that, and we will never stop asking. And love the new record, the Helio Sequence. We're going to talk about that, but you want to kick us off with a couple of songs? Absolutely, thanks. sequence live on KEXP, streaming live video today at KEXP.org. That sounded fantastic. You got another one? We do. Thanks. <laughs>
That's the Helio sequence live here in the KEXP studios. Both of them breathing hard right now. You always give it your all in every performance and you sound fantastic today. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, it's great to be back. Thanks for having us. And today is the day of the release of your new album. It is. The yeah. Helio sequence you've called this one. Yeah, absolutely. It feels like it's like a birthday or something. Yeah, well, we're happy to be celebrating that occasion with you. You're going to be doing an in-store tonight at Easy Street Records at 7.30 and then uh, one at Music Millennium in your hometown, Portland, tomorrow night. We've been giving away tickets all day today for the show you'll be doing back here in July at the Neptune. So a couple of opportunities to see you, and we're so excited to have you streaming live video today at kexp.org. Uh, I want to talk about the new record. It's so awesome. Uh, as you know, we're huge fans. We love all your records and we're not alone. You have legions of fans out there. But the last album had a, a lot of space in it. I feel like uh, it was very meditative. And if I remember correctly, you even recorded it under the cloak of darkness. And the Helio sequence just sort of feels like you've come out in the light of day and made this record in the sunshine. It what really is. I mean, that that really nails a lot of, you know, what went into making the record in that we were recording through the night very late for negotiations our last record and then this record was actually recorded through the month of may you know we would go in the studio in the morning um you know take breaks and it would be sunny and beautiful outside in portland and uh and that really kind of you know became a part of the sound whoa whoa and through the month of may that mm -hmm. is not last year you, that's not the way the Helios yeah, I mean, makes I think records. That, you, I think that's the another, year, the year another of two. big difference is, <laughs> is that negotiations took, a, we, I mean, we really, the meditation is a good word because we really took our time and it was like a two-year process, whereas we wrote these songs in about five weeks. Had you ever done that before? No, and it was really kind of intentional on our, on our um, you know, on our point, because we decided that, you know, in order to kind of counteract the tendency that we have as, you know, self-producers and the people that have always recorded our own records, um, you have this tendency to kind of take as much time as you want. And we thought, well, wouldn't it be amazing if we just gave ourselves, you know, four weeks and wrote as much as we possibly could, um, anything and everything, lay it down, whether it seems like it's not going anywhere, just finish any idea that you have, see what you have at the end of the month. And, uh, and we did that, and we decided to give it out to all of our friends and family, about you know 30 something people and just let them have a listen because by the end of it we had 26 full songs and uh kind of took a poll and found what the top 10 songs are and that is the helio sequence our new record that sounds like a great process i can just see by the smiles on your face that it feels fun to have done something different and not to take away from the albums that we've loved that you've labored over in the past but it must have been refreshing in my mind i sort of and i could be off base here but picture you as perfectionists, and I'm wondering how you were able to relax into this new yeah, process. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say perfectionist, and that was that was kind of yeah, that was the point is to kind of uh, it, you know you have to push yourself to to look past certain things. And we went back when we were done with a lot of these songs and thought, oh, you know, what if we s uh, switched this vocal line or we added this part here or changed this? And anything that we did kind of ended up taking away from the the spirit and the feel of the record so what ended up on the record are really kind of first takes all around sometimes sometimes a second take but yeah yeah but mostly just the first take and mm -hmm. and I, I also i think this is the first record since young effectuals where we actually were in the same studio space for our second album in a row so we had everything set up which is kind of nice because all every other record we've had to start from scratch building up a studio and this time we actually everything was kind of ready to go so yeah we had spent a whole year going into recording um, our new record actually you know upgrading our studio and recording and producing another band so we already felt like we were essentially like on a roll and going into recording the song we're like why stop let's just keep going the way we're going I know one of the reasons negotiations took so long to come out not only you labored over it but you spent several months actually having to find and build a new studio because your previous studio flooded exactly yeah we were on tour and came back and it was there was, you know, a foot of water that had that had been there and had to throw away a bunch of stuff and start over. And, and it was definitely nice this time not to have to do that. It seems like you took that in stride, though, and you really seem to be enjoying this new studio. La you mentioned it just now, but last time I talked to you about a year and a half ago, you were producing other bands. You were very excited about a Brazilian rock band that you were working with. Yeah, we spent almost all of 2013 recording a band called Corto Negro, who are from Sao Paulo. And it came about in the strangest way. We got a uh, email on Facebook saying, "Hey, we love your band. We'd love to record with you." And we just said, "That that sounds nice. I like your demos." Um, and they asked, "When can we come visit the studio?" 
And we said, how about next Monday? And that next Monday, they showed up at the door and uh, saw the studio. They liked it. And I think we were off and rolling about a month later or something like that. I think they heard they heard in a KEXP interview when we said, yeah, we're, we want to start recording bands. I think they heard us in a KEXP interview, and they were like, that's so when they decided Cheryl's to Cheryl's our out. executive producer now. That's right. Where's my cut? <laughs> well, now you're hearing it now again. Bands out there, you're interested in making a record with the Helio Sequence duo. They've got a great studio down in Portland. And um, you've called this new record your sixth album, the Helio Sequence. I was going to ask if you were having sort of a band midlife crisis, but it really actually sounds like in some ways it's just a fresh new process or start for you is that kind of the thinking yeah i mean the, the fact that it's self-titled was that when we stepped back and we had 26 songs that it was such a broad range of things and yet when we were listening to it we thought well gosh it just it all kind of sounds like us because when you're working in the moment that's the beauty you're not sitting there and and you know second guessing like oh it needs to sound a little more like this or i wish i didn't do what i do here that always seems to be my tendency it was nice to just let it all flow and uh, when we stepped back it felt very definitive in some way those songs that are left over, you think that's a new album? It won't make us wait three, four years? Well, I, 11 of the songs were on a pre-order disc called The Sunrise Demos. And if you come see us at our shows, we still have a few copies for sale. That, and I think that might be the only way you can get them at this point. Right. Otherwise, you would have had to pre-order from Sub Pop. Well, they're going to be playing tonight at Easy Street Records at 7.30 in West Seattle tomorrow night down in Portland, Oregon at Music Millennium. And how about another song? Sure. It's the Halo sequen Helio Sequence live here in the KEXP studios. We're streaming live video at kexp.org.
the Helio Sequence live on KEXP, streaming live video at kexp.org. The brand new self-titled album, The Helio Sequence, out today on Sub Pop Records. Tonight you can see them perform at Easy Street in West Seattle. That's a 7.30 set. Coming back to Seattle July 11th to play the Neptune Theater. Stay tuned to KEXP today. We have giving away tickets to that show. Gorgeous. It's the Helio Sequence, their brand new self-titled album out today on Sub Pop's records. 
Sub Pops Records. <laughs> and so great always to see you. Let's pencil you in for another date soon. All right. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. You've got to tune to KEXP.org. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.